Find the moment at B due to the force F. You're told that the Cartesian coordinates of B are 4, negative 2, 3, and that F is this nice vector that's already given to you in Cartesian form, negative I plus 5J plus 2K. Once you know that, what you need to find is R. R is the vector from the point you're taking the moment about to the point of application of the force. That's very important. You want to go from the point you're interested in. In this case, the point we're interested in is B. That's where we're, we want to find the moment at, the moment at B, to the point of application of the force. So we're going from B to the point of application of the force. Well, where is this force applied? You can look at the drawing, and this is applied at the origin. That's where the tail of the vector sits. So, if this is applied at the origin, then our vector R needs to go from B to the origin. Now, remember, in finding a position vector, what you want to do is 2 minus from. So R, the vector, is going to be 0, 0, 0, minus your point B, which was 4, negative 2, 3. As soon as you do that, you know that the vector R is going to be minus 4i plus 2j minus 3k. Once you have the vector R and you have the vector F in Cartesian form, the moment at B due to F is R cross F. So you set up your cross product, i, j, k, it's very important, r goes on the top line. So you have minus 4, 2, minus 3, and then your f vector is on the bottom, minus 1, 5, 2. You evaluate that cross product, you have i times 2 times 2, minus 5 times negative 3, minus j, don't forget that minus sign as you're doing your cross product, minus 4 times 2, minus negative 1 times negative 3. Got lots of minus signs in there. Plus k, minus 4 times 5, minus negative 1 times 2. That's, so the moment at b is 19i plus 11j minus 18k.